Hello, folks, and welcome back to another game demo. This is part of uh, Steam's Next Fest, and while it has ended, I have games that I want to take a look at that I didn't want to disrupt the normal flow of other videos for. This is one called Republic of Pirates. I have no idea what it's about. It looks like it has some really interesting graphics, and uh, everybody likes pirates, right? So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Uh, looks like we have a campaign, and that's about it. So we're going to jump into the campaign. Uh, we'll start on all of this, because I don't think there are... Oh, we can change the difficulty level. That's fun. Uh, we'll leave it at its basic one. And we have available materials, production conditions. And we're going to go in and establish uh, a Republic of Pirates. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Let's start and see what we have here. Great. Ooh. It tears us all down eventually. Heck, that's what this is all about. Already digging the art style we here. Uh, very nice, just kill. simple but complex wealth, graphics, if that makes sense. Like, the, look at the lamp. Like, there's a lot of we detail in that truth. lamp. Even though it's not, like, super, super detailed, the lighting on it's really good. Oh, that guy's holding a gun. <laughs> it's usually a shot in the back from a pistol of a crewmate. Uh-oh. The Republic of Pirates was meant to be different. But the greed got to them, too. Turning on one another like that. I'm shame what they did to your old man. Oh, great. We have uh, some backstory that we need to go about here. Pelago between the three of their crews. Lucky Jack Howell and the self-proclaimed raiders of the Caribbean. Scar and his gallows men. I was worried if we were going to have skull and, and crossbones for everything. Barbero, leader of Los Guerreros. Oh. They had it all. Spanish gold by the galleon and a nice slice of the Caribbean to call home. They couldn't play nice, could they? Apparently not. Well, if it's revenge you want, I'm with you. I owe your old man that much. Thanks. We're one ship against three fleets, but they aren't expecting us. Yeah, we'll one ship against three fleets doesn't sound island reasonable. Get wind of our intentions. Revenge for your father and the chance to build something better. Okay, here we go. Republic of Pirates. See what we got. All right, little loading screen here. We're gonna go into this uh, kind of isolated area. I guess we're gonna build out. And let's see what's up. Ooh, look at the rocks. They're very pretty. This is the archipelago, all right, but it's far too dangerous to continue out in the open. Let's stick to the shallows for now. All right, John. Let's sail. So select the ship. Right click when the ship is selected to issue command. Oh, okay. So we can control where we want to go. There we go. We got some uh, lost items. Let's go get that lost item there. Uh oh. What do we got? That didn't tell me anything. And there's this little weird stutter there. You see that? Alright, so I can zoom in and out. Cool. I'm assuming all this is from... Oh, that's where it was. Okay. So is that going to be... Is this little icon telling me that we're getting into somebody else's territory? Look at this weird little shadow thing going on there. What's, what's up with that? The water is beautiful. I really like that. Alright, we've made it to wherever we're going. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. A pirate ship. Imagine that. Uh, it looks much bigger than ours and has cannons where we do not appear to have any cannons. Oh, beautiful. We made them steer into a rock. <clears throat> that was a close call. The archipelago is in chaos after the collapse of the Republic. We'd better hunker down on Galley Island for now. Come up with a plan. Let's start with a dock to house our supplies. Okay. So how do we do that? So we're going to go to infrastructure, a dock. Okay. So it's telling us we have to build it there. That's fine. If we want to take the fight to our old companions, we'll need men. There are plenty of rough and ready types looking for work. So long as we give them somewhere to stay and something to do. Okay. Need to build huts. 
be connected to dock via roads. Okay. So infrastructure. There we go. We got roads. Can I build just into the jungle here? I guess I can. Oh, it clears out your land forest right out of the gate. That's fun. There we go. And then we're going to get some houses. It says we need to have, what, five of them? Can I rotate them? All right, let's see. We need a couple more. There we go. All right, we got that. What is going on here? This is like a pirate city builder. I love it. All right, so let's see. We got a building effects range. We have brothels, taverns. There we go. Okay. So if we go back into... Oh, many of these now. We have a marketplace. In the marketplace. Let's actually continue that road a little bit more. So infrastructure road. We're going to build this out just a little more. And then we'll go into amenities and a marketplace. There we go. We have a pirate marketplace. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to go get debris from the sunken ship. Which is all the way out here. Alright, so control our boat to go do that. I like the map is updating live as well. We can see our dock. And we're going to go gather up all of that stuff. This is where we came in. We went through here. I'm going to get all of the debris. There we go. I want to get that one too. We need to build a figurehead decoration. That seems unnecessary. Okay, we can rotate buildings with E. Good to know. All right, so let's go over to decorations. Figurehead. This is dumb. There we go. Salvaging materials from wrecks is good and all. We've got plenty of resources at our fingertips on the island, too. We'll need a steady supply of wood for once to come. All right. So now we're going to go into construction. We need a woodcutter's lodge, which we can just kind of throw out here, I guess. It needs a road. Put information such as work accounts displayed at the top. Okay, so we have 20 people. All right, and you need a road. What's your deal? No depot in range. Okay, so construction that a sawmill? Should set a couple of the lads to moving goods from place to place. It's more efficient to dump materials at a depot so they don't have to carry them so far. Okay. Set an infrastructure, there it is. So I'll rotate that around. The more we provide for our workers, the happier they'll be. The happier they are, the more they'll contribute. Okay, got that. Let's see what else we need to do. Interact with a hut. Alright, so it pulls up information, just general information about their satisfaction. So they need fish and a marketplace and some rope. What do they want? They want rum and a brothel. <laughs> okay. So they need fish. So we'll go over the needs and we'll select fish. And oh, okay, we can put it out here. Cool. We spotted some floating barrels not far from the coast. There might be nothing. Okay, so we'll get that in a second. Let me just connect this to our road network. So we go there and we'll get our floating barrels. It looks like we're looking for a treasure barrel. A treasure barrel. Goodness gracious, I can't speak right now. Alright, so 
we're just gonna go through here. I mean, obviously being a demo and also being the very first time we're in here, uh, there's gonna be a lot of guidance on what you need to do and how to do it, which I appreciate. Uh, I'm interested to see where some of this stuff leads us. There we go. We got our treasure barrel. Well, the barrels were empty, except for a bunch of letters from the British West Indies Company about claiming some island. I'm just going to keep gathering up stuff that's just in our sphere of influence here. How far does this map go? All right, so it looks like there's a line there, which and clouds, so we don't know much about some of these other areas, but we at least have our basic stuff set up. All right, so what are we doing fish-wise here? <clears throat> all right, I think we're working on getting them fish. Look at all of our people doing stuff. Got this area here. Which, where are they going? They're going to the sawmill. And the sawmill is taking stuff over to the depot? Yeah, see? We got all this stuff there. Okay. And Porter's going to distribute things. Okay. Okay. That seems like a lot, but we'll figure it out. All right, so our depot has a porter. There, we got fish. <laughs> and there uh, we have that. We've completed our original quest here. Uh, this game has some potential. I'm interested to see what's going on here. It seems like there's a lot to manage and a lot to do and set up. And uh, I like the building style that you can kind of, you don't have to worry about certain things. Here's someone you want on your side in a fight. She's a tough old girl. Okay, great. Hold her own in a naval battle or a tavern. John, is that you? Thank God I found you here. Okay. Jack double cross. Cool. You can help me. Your ship looks like it's busted up a bit. Or is it? Yeah. Oh, you got a big ship. Good for you guys. All right. How do we do that? Oh, we just got to get you closer to the dock. Okay. And then we can repair you. Captain, the men reported several ships headed directly for us. Looks like we've been discovered. Let's... Alright, now we need to use a tactical map tool. I'm assuming that's this. Oh no, it's not. Okay, there's another map thing. I like that the icons are in different order right now than what uh, show up on there. That's fine. So tactical map. Oh, there we go. Okay. How do I get out of the tactical map? Where, there they are, crap. There we go, we got a fight going on now. Doesn't seem likely that they would try to fight a ship that's significantly larger and much better armored. It seems unlikely, but what we can do while we're doing all this We can go gather all this stuff. There we go. Thank you, Captain. I think the lads and I. Oh, we need to build a whole lot more houses apparently to do this next round of stuff. That's fine. We still don't have a lot of. stuff stuff in the way of a lot of things that we need here so let's go in there we go we'll get some huts then we click on there and look at their needs they want rum and they need well they want rum and they want a brothel, and they need rope. Okay. So now we can build a sugar plantation, which is under once. Oh, 
Okay, so... How do I build fields? Select fields icon. Okay. Just go in here. And then we can lay out. There we go. Got our little sugar field set up. Okay, and then back in once we can go here and we go to rum distillery. And do I want to put another, uh... Ooh, we could also do rope. So we could do a hemp plantation and generate rope. Cool. Let's so go into this one. Do essentially what we did on the last setup here. All right. I feel like we need like a lot more workers to do what this game could ask us to do here. Let's continue going to needs. We'll get our rope maker. And then an infrastructure. Lovely Isabella Rojas. Cunning, pragmatic, seductive. Nope, oh, she's a brothel lady, okay. Captain, I'm happy to make your acquaintance. My name is Isabella, and I have a... Okay. Oh, we got a brothel now. Okay, cool. Whatever. Okay, but right now I want to build a depot. Right there. That's at least in range of a lot of our stuff. And then we can go over into amenities and we'll build a brothel. Make everybody happy. There we go. We still need more laborers, so we're going to go back in infrastructure and get more huts. What is this? Available here. Alright, so we need more houses to fill stuff. Interact with the brothel. The is open for one day. One day. And the girl is dead. I will not stand for this. You either kill the prick who did it and make an example of him or provide protection for the rest of the girls. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's fine. So now we can build a skeleton cage. <laughs> this is brutal. There we go. Just don't do anything bad to people and you don't have anything to worry about. We are getting more people in here though. Like these ones don't have anybody or three of 10. Okay, so each house can hold 10 people. So we'll be able to hold lots and lots of people here soon enough. We just need to get more people to kind of get into our area here. Let's see, okay. I think a lot of what we're doing right now is these fields here for all this stuff are getting crushed. But we are slowly going in here and getting stuff, that's fun. And you can see, uh, let's go into the, the uh, rum distillery here. You can see it's getting its materials coming in. Uh, we can set it as a priority building so that uh, more of our uh, people just immediately go there. Uh, and then we can also upgrade it to add more storage, I guess, um, for things. But we can take a look here and see what's going on. Uh, you see they definitely need more fish. So let's go over and see if we can upgrade our fishing area. All right, so we've upgraded that one. And we're going to turn it into a priority building as well. So we need... 200 laborers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so we're still going to need some more houses here regardless. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so that will at least allow us to do all of that. We're going to speed the game up a little bit here. Doesn't look like there's a lot going on with that, but that's fine.
We have everything there. Let's go ahead and take a look here. You have all the stuff you need. How about stuff you want? We have all the stuff you want. Look at us. We're doing we're doing the, the work here. Uh, we're slowly increasing our number of workers. We only are in negative 10 here for laborers, which means we're going to be able to start pumping out some of the stuff a little faster here, hopefully soon. Uh, we have rope. We have rum. We have uh, a brothel. Uh, we have marketplace. And then we also have lumber and all that stuff. So we're doing all right, I think. I don't, I don't really know, but I'm happy with where we're at. Oh, we actually... Now, I just want to see if the numbers for these match each other. They do. Okay, so each of these looks like they share the same number of stuff, which is kind of nice. All right, we're still waiting on a few more people, it looks like. We have th almost 36,000 food. Our, uh, our needs and wants are there. Materials could use some more work. So I may put in another uh, lumber camp somewhere back here at some point and do just a slight bit more with it. Uh, but we're not gonna wait here forever for this to move along. What is this? Yeah, of course we are. We only have one rum thing. Oh, look, there's nighttime coming in. All right. Oh, and a dock service is a uh, material place as well. Okay. I don't know why we stopped growing. Not all of our buildings are fulfilled. What do you need? Oh, you need a marketplace. Okay, we can do that. So let's go in. Let's see, one, two, three. So that's there. And we're going to build a new marketplace. Once I find where it's at, not construction, none of these, there we go. There we go. Hopefully that will help us get more people. Yeah, see, numbers going up. We just didn't satisfy all the stuff that people needed. So they have that. Once we need a closer brothel for our folks here, but we did get up Jack to our numbers here. I am and is coming for me. I won't run away again. Let's okay, build two defensive towers. Okay, so let me slow down the game here. Needs, wants, infrastructure, amenities, seafaring. There we go. Defensive tower. Right, can I just place them out anywhere? Is there a certain spot they need to go? Because I would very much like to just be able to... had a green spot on there for a second there's a green spot okay so we got to place them along the shoreline there there we go looking jack howell what a cowardly all right i don't care about him we got another cutscene. this is a really complete demo by the way there's a lot going on here uh-oh I don't feel good about this. We're we're taking some serious damage here. Up, oh, our main ship's gone. Um, that's not good. Well, well, don't you look familiar? <laughs> okay. So there's no avoiding it. Jack knows we're here. The way I see it, we either pack up and leave, or we pick up the pieces, repair our. No, oh, we're gonna pack. We're gonna we're gonna repair everything. So we have uh, what we got here. Build a fleet. All right. So seafaring. That's more defensive towers. A captain's inn and a shipyard. That's what we want. A shipyard. Oh my goodness, it's enormous. Where are we gonna put that? All right. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of coastline to work with here which I'm a little concerned about that's fine we're gonna pack this up one for right now and see what it goes with but you can see this is a fun little game that I'm rather enjoying and uh, we'll see how it goes but this has uh, been called Republic of Pirates and it should be available soon I'll talk to you later bye bye